For today's prep, I've got this beautiful big sponge called Ventriculitas. It's from the Cretaceous period, around 66 million years old, and it looks like a beautiful complete specimen, but it's very fragile. So, first thing I wanna do with it is to consolidate it with Paraloid B72. Let's go ahead. The Dremel 290 will fork, work fine because this is chalk soft material and I will start <laughs> with this maybe. I think there is sponge under this layer of chalk so let's try to remove that cautiously. From the very start of the prep I faced my first challenge. I was thinking that fossil was right under the chalk and when I was going deeper, there was nothing. First thought was that I damaged it or it was already damaged. In reality, sponges often have natural holes in them to filter bigger quantities of water. And that's exactly what it was. A relief. I decided to clean a bit middle with water to see what's going on and I'm a bit worried about this middle to be totally honest with you it's not uh, clearing nicely not flaking off nicely but uh, the sponge is still here I went quite deep and the sponge is quite here see quite deep it wasn't like that so I will uh, I will continue cleaning just this side I'm very worried about these sides because yeah, uh, this matrix doesn't flake off nicely, so um, it's very easy to damage it. So far not, not terrible. You see? So far not terrible, but can be better. You can see it from this point, but he, there's quite a, quite a hole. What's important is not to lose patience in works like this. I found this sponge together with other fossils like ammonites last month during my fossil hunting trip in Poland at the rock quarry. It was quite successful trip just because of this specimen I'm prepping right now. I encourage you to go and check it out. I will leave link to that hunting video in the description. And about this sponge itself, it's called Ventriculitas and it is extinct species of sponges that faced extinction during the KPG extinction event. Visually, it's clearly shaped like a mushroom. I've got really lucky with the split, because this fossil is very fragile. I could literally damage it with my fingernail. So I had to stop a little bit the preparation because I wasn't sure what's going on with this hole because it's quite deep as you can see and I did reach one of the experts from the uh, locality where this uh, sponge came from and they told me that this is not a damage on the sponge. The sponges sometimes have natural holes to take more uh, of the water from the ocean to filter them and to look for the food in the water so that's what this hole is probably maybe i will now polish a little bit inside so it doesn't have the engraver marks on it and i will leave this hole as it is i guess and yeah let's start progressing the preparation of the specimen from the sides and this is quite exciting so can't wait let's go We will deal with the hole a little bit later. I will wash it up and cover it with paraloid inside. And now let's make it a little bit more 3D and we will see where to go next from this point.
at this place, uh, I'm not sure if it's going deeper. The sponge from here, uh, this coloration bothers me a bit. Maybe it was a thin section, uh, like in this part, there is very thin section, so it can't be prepped, very fragile. So very likely it was uh, leaf in here. And it went like this. I'm not entirely sure. I will uh, ask some opinions from the friends and I will see if I will uh, do some work from this side anymore. I will just go not cover here. Uh, right now I think uh, I will try to remove a little bit from the top so we have uh, you know a bit deeper section from here. Yep. Let's do that. Okay, so accident happened, not a bad one, because I didn't damage the, uh, my fossil anywhere. The accident happened with the recording, because I was doing uh, work without recording. All the side I'm removing. Uh, give me a second, let's do this. <laughs> and yeah, I want to separate this layer all the way across. Like here, remove all this. So when it will stand from the front, uh, this all the things the behind won't be visible, the matrix. So I'm now doing the line uh, all the way across. Right here. This everything will be removed, maybe except this part, because it has to stand on, the, on it. <laughs> uh, yeah, shame. A little bit of footage was... Uh, a little bit of footage gone, so... much dust everywhere that I will just wash it off with water a little bit to see what is going on where the fossil is. The bright orange color is the fossil and the not bright color is the rock. So I need to see the boundary not to damage the fossil. So far pretty good, I can tell you that much. I think uh, the shaping of the matrix itself is good enough. There's not much left of it, so 
Next step, we'll be uh, removing all the scratches from the engraver from all the sides near the fossil. For that, I will use this small tip on the, on the Dremel. And yeah, then I will do the same with the bigger tip to remove the scratches from the matex itself. So it will take quite a while. <laughs> okay, let's begin. I'm done and it's time to put Polaroid on it once again and this time I will wait for it to dry off in warm environment not outside because these white spots this is the Polaroid and that's because uh, it got wet while it was drying off so let's try to remove these white dots by moving more Polaroid with Adstone on it so this will dissolve and hopefully yeah they will disappear And yeah, we are done and it looks like they did dry off nicely. There is now uh, the white spots are gone absolutely from the piece. And yeah, the prep is also done. And quite honestly, it's quite a big piece. Look at this. <laughs> quite big, quite impressive. And I'm not even sure when, where I will put it in my house. Um, yeah, I'm quite satisfied with the result. Here from the side, uh, the sponge itself was dissolved, there was only some marks of the coloration uh, of orange on this chalk, so I, I did remove it, I'm not sure if I should have done that, but it's done now, and yep, if you did enjoy this video, uh, smash that like button and sub subscribe to my channel for future content, because I will do more fossil hunting, fossil preparations and ember related content in the future, and yeah, thanks for watching and bye!